Rolling with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm going to share with you guys probably one of the best vacuum blending solutions that you could buy anywhere. Unfortunately, there are not too many vacuum blenders or vacuum blending solutions for people that have a previous blender, such as a Vitamix or a Blendtec. The kit I'll be showing with you guys now will allow you to transform your Vitamix or Blendtec into a vacuum blender. Yes, you guys know I love my vacuum blenders and I want you guys to experience vacuum blending and this is just one of many ways you guys could do it. But I don't want you guys to feel left out, right? If you don't already own a Blendtec or a Vitamix, right, you could get the very own Void System Blender with their Vacuum Solution Kit. So literally, if you own like already a Blendtec and a Vitamix, right, you can get one kit that will work on both machines. Maybe you have friends that you want to expose them to vacuum blending, right? You have a Vitamix, they have a Blendtec. You could buy this kit and you could take it over to their house and show them the power of vacuum blending because once you go vac, you never go back. <laughs> is what my friend Nate told me and I'm like, you know what Nate, you are right because once you have experienced the flavor, the taste, the colors, the less air bubbles, the less gas and bloating, when you drink your smoothies or whatever you blend in your blender, you're not gonna go back to traditional blending. Now I know a lot of you guys may not be familiar with what vacuum blending is, and that's all right, I'll show you guys in a little bit the big difference it can make. Now because Christmas is upon us, or maybe it, you know another holiday is upon us, this would be one of the best gifts you guys can give to somebody that already owns a Vitamix or already owns a Blendtec or you, you could actually give them a whole blender kit to get the vacuum juicing lid that I'm going to show with you guys right now. Um, this has been in development for several years now. It was originally released in 2020. It's now 2022. So it's been two years that they've had to basically um, find out what didn't work with it, how they can improve it, and how they could make it better. I did test it in the early years once it came out in like I would say a prototype version. I tested a few lids. They didn't work quite well. I sent them back and I'm like guys you need to make this better and now I got sent the new lids and I'm being assured that man these are dialed in now so that you guys won't have any problems. In addition this also has a three year warranty. Um, you know, so that's going to be your assurance that you're going to have a vacuum lid that works for the next three years. All right, so this is basically the kit you will buy if you guys own a Blendtec blender. And I'll share with you guys how this kit will also integrate into a Vitamix or their very own vacuum blender by Void Systems. So what it very simply is, we open this box up and you guys can see we got an instruction manual in here. And we basically just have a lid and this is the lid that makes vacuum possible in all these blenders right here. Uh, next thing you guys are going to get, you're going to get a USB cord that plugs into a wireless charger. Yes, this has wireless charging much like your cell phone. They integrated the latest technology into this vacuum uh, blending lid so that you can easily do your vacuum blending without any additional cords, without buying AA batteries, without buying any kind of additional power adapter to plug in. That's what one of the main differences about this is. This is a self-contained vacuum lid that will make and transform standard traditional blenders into a vacuum blender. So that's amazing. And how this works is you just take this little thing and it just drops on there into place like so and you could plug it into the USB uh, port on a computer or one of the little you know outlet adapters on the wall and this will light up and wirelessly charge this unit. Now the amazing thing about this unit is that one charge could last a month and that's what it's been lasting most users of the Void Systems vacuum blending lid. All right, so how this works is there's only three buttons. So this is like one of the easiest things to use. If you guys can't use a smartphone, don't worry. You guys could use this vacuum lid because it's even easier. You're going to turn this on and it's going to come up and say void on it. I mean, you guys can see that, but then it says um, up there it has a number and that's how many times you've used it. Actually, this one has nine uses because this is the new lid I just got. You can see the battery indicator. It basically is full battery because also it's been it was fully charged from the factory when I got it. 
and it says home, so this is the main menu, and it says zero, zero. I don't know if you guys can see that number on there, zero, zero. That's the, the pressure, the vacuum pressure. And then over here it says A colon 18. Now there are basically three presets. They come factory set at 12, 14, and 16. It does tell you in the instruction manual how you can change it to a higher number. The higher number, the stronger the vacuum. And I basically tested this lid in my altitude and my location and it gets to 18 really easily and quickly and then that's what I set it to and that's going to be my default while you could maybe go higher it could take significantly longer or may not even get to a higher number depending on where you live and this is dependent on the altitude so basically what you're going to hit you're going to hit the arrow button and you could function function through number number a preset a which is uh, 18 in my case b which is 14 in my case or c which is 16 in my case Maybe sometimes you don't want to pull out a strong vacuum because you want to be able to blend sooner. Um, and then if you press the button one more time, it says Vac Plus. So under the Vac Plus mode, this mode is designed for when the um, company comes out with different attachments that you will use the Vac Plus mode for, such as you know food saving plastic bags and jars. Now this is not out yet and I don't know if or when it will come out, so I would basically just really not use the Vac Plus for the most part. And uh, my setting is the setting A. Now the coolest thing about this lid, as I just shared with you guys, this will fit multiple uh, blenders. You know, the Blendtec, the Vitamix, which are the two best-selling blenders in the United States. And they are the solid performers that I know most of you guys already own. So all you guys got to do is get the kit for your appropriate blender and you will be all set. So before we go on, I want to show you guys how you guys can save $25 on the lid kit that will work directly on the Blendtec or the lid plus carafe kit that will work for the Vitamix or the, your very own void system blender with their carafe and the lid. So if you guys could go to void-system.com and use the coupon code DJ25. You could also, for an easier way, just check the link down below in the description. It's a bit.ly uh, bit.ly slash void vacuum and that'll take you directly to the void systems website where you guys could purchase either of these three options use a discount code once again DJ25 I'll throw it up right there on the screen for you guys uh, to save $25 off to get this amazing vacuum lid that can transform your blender into a vacuum blender now I want to show you guys how this vacuum blender lid works so literally you just uh, if you have a Blendtec, you take off your previous lid and you throw on this Void Systems lid. fits right onto the wild side carafe. Uh, pu pu push it down, and then what you're going to do, you're just going to go ahead, turn it on. You're going to select the mode you want, which I have it on A18. You're just going to go ahead and hit the Go button, right? And listen very quickly as I pr after I press it. You guys hear that? What you're hearing in there is dual vacuum pumps sucking the excess oxygen out of this craft. These vacuum pumps are faster than other vacuum blenders that are on the market at this time in the US. So if you guys want to do vacuum blending and you're impatient, this is a solution for you. As it is vacuum blending, you're also seeing the number right there and there's a little bar graph on the sides as the number increments. So I have set it to 18. You can set it to 14. It would have been done vacuuming by now. You can set it to 16. I have mine set to 18. And you can also see the sides of this craft starting to become concave, right? It's still pumping and we are almost at 18, 17, almost at 18. All right, we got to 18 and it shut itself off, right? But the cool thing about this vacuum lid is that this will maintain the 18 pressure during your vacuum. So as you guys can see, it shuts itself off because it's 18. And then it's like, oh, it dipped down to 17. And then it pumps it back up to 18. So you're going to have a constant vacuum when you're blending. So should the carafe use, lose a little vacuum during your blend, it will just suck out the excess oxygen during your blending process. This is something that you cannot find on any other vacuum blender that I'm aware of that is on the market in the United States at this time that does that fully automatically, right? To stop it, you're just gonna go ahead and press, press any button. It's, it turns off the vacuum. You can then go ahead and release the vacuum. There's a little red um, plug here. You're just gonna lift up on it and I want you guys to listen carefully. That is the sound of freshness right there, all the air being let back in the container, right? You can pull this off, 
and this does have a really good seal so you will need a little bit of strength I do recommend to pull up this plug as you're lifting that'll make it a lot easier to pull it off uh, you may also want to put a little water on the gasket before you put it on uh, that'll also help you guys get it off now this is the Vitamix solution right it comes with its very own carafe so this replaces your Vitamix carafe and the lid will come with the carafe and you could go ahead and put the lid on this carafe and then you could actually vacuum blend on top of your Vitamix motor base and when you guys get the Vitamix kit not only will you get the void vacuum blending systems lid the carafe a special pad I'll show you guys in a minute you will also get the blend fresh uh, the blend fresh is coming free you may not get this purple one I don't know what flavor you're gonna get there's several flavors purple red orange green but the blend fresh is amazing because it is actually refractants window dried um, superfoods that you can add to your smoothies that will up your smoothie game it has you know a dozen different ingredients this one actually happens to have organic beet juice purple carrot juice organic conquer grape juice organic acai organic blueberry uh, blackberry purple cabbage organic acerola juice plum eggplant black raspberry black currant juice passion fruit juice seriously guys this will up your smoothie game and this is a free bonus that comes when you guys order the Vitamix kit now should you not have a blend tech or Vitamix so that you guys can use this lid that's all right void system got you covered too because they come out with their own void system blender that comes with the container as well as a lid as well as a tamper we'll show you guys in a little bit and the lid also fits on their vacuum system as well now while these two containers look the same the design is a little bit different and they are not interchangeable so if you think oh, I got the Vitamix I could order their blender and then use this craft here that's not gonna work guys they it's, it's different on the bottom coupling section so you got to order the right one for what you got so, you know, once again, if you guys order that uh, Vitamix or the Void Systems kit, you guys are going to get the Blend Fresh Refractance Window Dry that's beyond freeze drying to give you guys even more nutrition. Now, this may be a bit hard when you get it, so just tap it up a little bit. It'll get loose and you can put it in your smoothie. I just like to dump this in my mouth straight, and it's like you're eating like a dozen different purple superfoods. And you guys know I'm in my purple now. Once again, you may not get the purple ones when you guys order because it might be some kind of random color all right so yes this is the void blendings kit that will work with Blendtec Vitamix or their own vacuum blender so what I want to do next for you guys is I want to go ahead and share with you guys why vacuum blending is so important and then we're gonna go ahead and show you guys and compare vacuum blending against traditional blending then we're gonna go ahead and share with you guys the uh, Void Systems vacuum blending solution for Vitamix against uh, the BioChef vacuum blending system for the Vitamix that I've been selling for well over a year that is actually on promotion uh, for December 2022 at $20 off its normal price. The price discount will be reflected in the link down below at discountjuicers.com. That's the only place you guys will get that additional $20, to $20 off for the month of December 2020. So first I want to show you guys how you guys could upgrade your Vitamix to a vacuum blender and then we're going to go ahead and vacuum blend in the Void Systems kit to transform your Vitamix into a vacuum blender against a Vitamix, a different Vitamix, the Vitamix Ascent model or the one with the smart chip inside there. You know my personal opinion is that the Vitamix Ascent and other models with the chip in there are probably the worst Vitamix you guys can own in my personal opinion although many influencers online will promote it and sell it to you because they're getting a commission on it I um, mean they don't understand what I understand is that when you guys buy an ascent model or their smart detect system it basically has a little chip inside the bottom of the container that tells oh this is a Vitamix carafe so it will work right even the old Vitamix carafe right made by Vitamix won't work in this model because it doesn't have the little chip so that means Vitamix forces you to buy their carafes that cost a lot more than an aftermarket carafe plus that means that the void systems vacuum blending solution will not work on your ascent or other smart detect model so if you guys have that food processor attachment that works on your uh, 
blender, your Vitamix, that means you can't use the void system. That you will need to buy a traditional or classic Vitamix that does not have a smart detect or just buy that, uh, you know, the complete void systems vacuum blending solution so that you guys can vacuum blend. So now I'm going to show you guys how you could transform your classic Vitamix, right? Once again, not the Ascent or the new version. Um, once you plug that in, it's ready to go. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is when you get the kit from the void systems that transform your Vitamix, you're going to go ahead and take off your craft and put it to the side because you will no longer need it because you will no longer want to blend traditionally and mix all the oxygen into your blended mixtures that will give you more gas and bloating, less nutrition, less color retention, more separation, and worse, terrible storability. So you get a few things. You'll get the carafe with the standard lid. So if you did want to use a tamper, they give you a tamper. Of course, you cannot vacuum blend when you're using the tamper. They'll give you that, uh, you know, blend fresh, right? Refractants window dried superfood powder to add to your smoothies. They'll give you the vacuum systems lid that will work directly on any traditional blend tech blender and they will give you a little pad. You will need to change out this pad on your Vitamix because this carafe will not work optimally with the current pad. This is very simple, very easy to do and I want to show you guys how to do that. You're just going to lift this off and if you're like me, your pad might look like this. Got a lot of like you know, stuff, dirt, dust, you know, and particles in there. Just get rid of that. They're sending it, sending you a new pad so you can upgrade your Vitamix, make it look nice and neat. And you're just going to put it in there and press it down in place. All right, once you got that fully seated on the Vitamix, I have a nicer looking Vitamix now. Now you're ready to use the Void Systems Carafe. Just go ahead and set this on. It sets on nice and firmly. You know, you can't move it too much. If you had the other pad on there, it would really rock. You don't want to do that. That will void your warranty on the Void System setup here. And we're going to go ahead and take off that traditional lid. And we're just going to go ahead and turn on this lid, get it to power up. It's all ready. We're just going to go ahead and put it on. Once again, I like to lift up this little red tab as I put it on. That'll ensure you don't get the vacuum lock and it goes on nice and easy. Let that tab go. And the next step is we're just going to go ahead and press the go button. And what's going to happen is it's currently sucking all the excess oxygen out of the craft, not only in the head space, but more importantly, in the water space. You guys might see some air bubbles coming up from some of the water or some trapped air that's actually inside the tomatoes that is now being evacuated by the void systems dual pump that is built into the lid, right? This is a game changer because most other vacuum systems, you gotta have some kind of separate lid with some pump you gotta put on top. It's inconvenient. This is so simple and so easy. And this pumps, you know, according to the manufacturer, um, twice as fast and twice the pressure. I don't know if I'm, I believe the twice the pressure, but because it has dual uh, vacuum pumps in here, it does pump twice as fast as other vacuum blenders. And that'll save you guys some time. All right, so it's achieved uh, the 18 on the display there, it shuts itself off, but then it goes down to 17, so then it turns itself on to keep it at 18, which is nice because also as you start to blend, it'll also keep it running to maintain that level of vacuum pressure to ensure that you guys have the most nutrition in your smoothies. And this is something that other vacuum blenders on the market at present time simply do not do. So now all I need to do is turn both blenders on. We're going to run it for the exact same amount of time and then turn them on off. So we'll probably speed this up for you guys because you can see it in action without all the noise because these blenders can get loud. All right, we got that all turned off. The funny thing is, is this blender top is still running. <laughs> So we're just going to go ahead hit the hit a button. It'll basically turn it off and uh, we can take them off. If you guys can see, uh, this still has a vacuum on it. We're going to just go ahead and release the vacuum. And I want you guys to look and listen at the sound of freshness. All right. Like you ever open up one of those U-Band cans when you're a kid and you hear that, that vacuum come out? That's keeping the coffee fresh. But more importantly, this keeps your smoothie fresh as well. Or whatever you're blending in here. And once again, we like to go ahead and lift up on the little red tab while we're pushing up the lid so we can basically get this off because this is a really good seal so it's not going to leak the air on you like some other vacuum blenders might. 
All right, next we're gonna go ahead and pour our mixtures out. Once again, one is vacuum blended and one is not. Of course, the traditional Vitamix. There's no way to vacuum blend in a Vitamix unless you get a kit like this. I'm not aware that Vitamix is coming out with a vacuum blending kit. I, My personal belief is that they don't think it is actually, people are gonna want it. Um, and I'm here to share with you guys otherwise because once you see the difference and what's more importantly you guys taste the difference Store the food you vacuum blended versus not you will learn the difference and you'll be a convert Right, so all right, so here's the one that did not get vacuum blended Right up to the top and here's the version that did get vacuum blended All right, so tell me on the camera which one looks more vibrant, which one is better for an Instagram photo that's going to make the color pop, right? Surely the vacuum blended version looks a lot more deeper, richer red, right? If you guys can see the top like I'm seeing it, you guys can't really see because I can't tip it too much, but you'll see there's a lot of foam on the non-vacuum blended version. Whereas a vacuum blended version, yes, it has some foam, but it's very little foam. So if you don't like foam and drinking froth in your smoothies, right, once again, the vacuum blender is the way to go. There's many benefits to the vacuum blending aside just from the color, which is something that you could see. There's also the taste difference. So when you taste something vacuum blended, it's going to taste more concentrated. So if you're using expensive herbs and spices, when you make your smoothies or different salad dressings or whatever, you could use a little bit less because you're going to preserve those flavor compounds which are, in reality, nutrients. So you're actually going to get more nutrition when you vacuum blend. You know, and this has been proven in scientific studies where oxygen-sensitive vitamins and phytonutrients can be up to three times higher. So imagine you're blending your wild blueberries, thinking you're doing a detox smoothie, but and you're doing it in a Vitamix, you're losing three times of the potential health healing benefits of the polyphenols in those wild blueberries when you're traditionally blending. And I know you shouldn't feel guilty because you didn't know like I didn't know when I learned about vacuum blending technology like almost 10 years ago now that I've been trying to share with you guys about this um, on the YouTube because most people have no clue. In addition, you're going to get less separation, so I'm going to leave this to the side during this whole presentation, and by the end of the presentation, you'll see how badly the non-vacuum blended separated versus the vacuum blended, you know, basically didn't separate. Now, yes, everything will separate over time, but it separates significantly slower. Also, you can see the air bubbles on the top also dissolved oxygen into the mixture. When you swallow the air bubbles, you're basically swallowing extra foam, you know, and you're swallowing air. It's like you're drinking a beer and then after the beer or the soda, you burp, right? You're swallowing air bubbles. Like when you're drinking a soda, you're going to have extra, it's going to bulge out your stomach. So if you're a lady and you want to keep that fit looking stomach right, don't drink aerated smoothies. <laughs> Drink them vacuum blended so you're not introducing the extra air into your system. This will also help your digestion because you know your digestive system doesn't like extra air in the food. They just want the food down there. Now the other important benefit of vacuum blending is that you have better and longer storability. I want you guys to follow this. It's not super complicated. It's not rocket science and I am not Elon Musk. <laughs> All right, so. Here's the thing guys, when you guys blend with traditional blending, right, if you guys look in the middle of your blender as you're blending, there's a little tornado down the middle, right? That's a funnel cone, right? It's like the tornadoes that come and rip up houses in Kansas and destroy things and kill people in, you know, different parts of the country, right? That's what it's doing to the nutrients when you're blending them. It's destroying those antioxidant nutrients, those sensitive nutrients that are sensitive to air because we are sucking the excess oxygen out of the headspace as well as some excess air out of the liquid and the foods that you blend up, right? And when you do that, you don't destroy those antioxidant nutrients. So, you know, because there's more antioxidant nutrients, as proven by science, those antioxidant nutrients are in there to protect the juice from going bad later down the road. This is also proven in published scientific studies that vacuum blended juices degrades significantly slower than a non-vacuum blended juice that it degrades rather quickly. And I'm sure you guys have all done it. We, I know I've done it. 
you blend up in your Vitamix a banana smoothie. You drink the smoothie, oh, it tastes all right. But you, then you're too full and you have this much left. You let it hang out, whether it's on your blender craft or just in a little jar, you put it in the fridge or whatever. You come back and drink it four hours later. You drink that, you're like, oh my gosh, this tastes gross, right? Does it taste gross for you too? I know it tastes gross for me and a lot of my friends that have done this in the past, right? And then you almost don't want to drink it, but you're like, I blended it up, I'm going to drink it because it's got to be healthy for me. But what you guys are tasting are the oxidative damage to the smoothie that's been sitting around because it has all the oxidation done during the blending process, right? If you vacuum blend and even you let it sit for two, four hours, even in the fridge, you're not going to have the oxidative damage. It's going to taste very similar, if not identical, if you're not a super taster, to what you blended previously before and that is truly the power of vacuum blending. I know I'm saying all these words but really the best thing to do is to buy the system so that you could experience it for yourself because like everybody that I've turned on to vacuum blending except one person has like been a convert. One person said John I want to return the vacuum blender. I didn't like it. I'm like oh yeah why? She's like everything tastes too strong. <laughs> I'm like everything tastes too strong. That's one of the benefits but I don't like it. I'm like, okay, fine, return it. And so it's like, one per if you don't like things tasting stronger than they taste now and you don't like the enhanced flavor and the enhanced nutrients and the less air, the less bloating, the less gas, right, then continue to traditionally blend. So we're going to go ahead and move on in this demo, but we will be setting these aside so you guys can see how they separate during this presentation. So the next comparison that I want to do for you guys is another comparison to really drive home the benefit of vacuum blending, right? And how much oxygen or dissolved air is being put into your mixtures when you guys are blending that causes that gas, causes that blow, causes the excess belching that you might have after drinking a smoothie. Plus, you know, it's probably gonna make things digest not as well. One of the testimonials I got from a friend is like, wow, John, right after I got the vacuum blending, all my smoothies digested a lot better and I didn't get bloated anymore, right? That alone, is will make it worth it for you to get the vacuum blending system that will fit your existing Vitamix, your Blendtec, or the own, its own Void Systems blender with the kit so you can vacuum blend. All right, so the next test is once again, we're gonna go ahead and use the Vitamix setup with the Void Systems lid and carafe to vacuum blend against the Vitamix Ascent. And what we got is my standard dish soap. So we're just going to go ahead and put in one, two, three squirts on that side. We got 1,000 milliliters of water. One, two, three squirts on that side. Same amount of squirts, same soap mixed in to each of the blenders. Go ahead and put on both lids. Make sure they're fully tight. And the cool thing about the void lid is this is not dishwasher safe. Do not put it in your dishwasher. Do not submerge this underwater. A simple rinse with a little brush under the sink as it's running on this side and if you're washing this side which you can do I never really do that you want to put your finger over the little red hole to make sure no water gets in this area and you could clean it quickly and easily I really like that there's not a lot of nooks and crannies like there can be in a normal lid for a carafe you got different levels and stuff gets stuck into these little channels and it's a pain to clean right no longer with the void system lid. It's pretty much all flat with a just little recessed area. Super easy to clean. And let's go ahead and use it now. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on once again, lift up the little red flap as we drop this onto the unit to make sure we have a nice full and tight seal. We're gonna go ahead and hit the go button to pull a vacuum. All right, so it's powered up in no time. Got to the 18 on the display. And now I simply, we're just gonna go ahead and turn both machines on on high speed, one, two, three. All right, and we got them turned off now, and now we wanna see what happens. So let's go ahead and open this guy up, and as you guys can see, <laughs> you can see all the foam coming out of the top. This is clearly an indication that this created a lot of air bubbles into the mixture. I mean, this was full to here, and now it's basically all you see is air bubbles in there. You're thinking, John, this one looks the same. It's basically full of air balls. Well, I didn't remove the vacuum yet, guys, so watch this. We're going to go suck out the vacuum. And we're going to go ahead and lift off this lid. All 
And look at that. It's magic. No, it's vacuum. You can see, look at this. There's no air bubbles exceeding out and flowing over the top. I mean, yes, the soap was mixed in. There's, you know, definitely some air bubbles in there, but it's nowhere near the amount of air bubbles inside this crap. You guys can see that, right? Under vacuum, things blend differently. The soap integrates instead of foaming up like crazy, right? If you guys want to blend oil and water, you could blend it under vacuum in the blend tech system. I'll put a link down below to, I think, a video that probably has a million views by now where a scientist demonstrates vacuum blending water and oil and getting it to mix under vacuum. Now you can't do that in a traditional blender. So now I want to do my next comparison for you guys and this is sharing with you guys how powerful the pumps are, the dual pumps on the Void Systems lid. Once again that works on a Vitamix like you guys saw in the last two demos. This time we're actually using it on the Void Systems uh, blender base. Once again the carafe is the same as well as the pump. So this is going to be the fair test. And then we're going to compare that against the Vitamix with the BioChef Craft. Now I've been selling the BioChef Craft for several years now. It comes with a special vacuum carafe that with a special vacuum lid. And then it comes with a separate pump that is actually attached to a cord with an AC adapter that you got to plug in, right? So it's cord. It's not easy to travel with. If you guys travel, you know, you could easily take this self-contained lid that the batteries could last for 30 days, 100% wireless, nothing to plug in, you know, super clean, e su super easy to clean, uh, and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and compare these two to see how long they take to pump down, and more importantly, how strong is the vacuum. Generally, the stronger the vacuum, the more e air evacuated, the more nutrition you guys will have in your blended mixtures, and that's very important to me. So we're going to go ahead and take off the lid here and go ahead and remove this and take off the lid over on this side as well and what I have to do today this test is some jumbo marshmallows I do not encourage you guys to eat marshmallows but to test your vacuum pumps out they're a good thing because as you guys know marshmallows are fluffy they're like hollow inside and under vacuum they get big and what I want to also show you guys is that while you will see the marshmallows get big under vacuum all your other foods that you guys put in your vacuum blender before blending and you pull a vacuum on it it basically stretches out the food so that when the blades come around it can basically fractionate and blend them up to a finer consistency all else being equal of course you know then uh, this the same blender without the vacuum because you know the fibers are more compressed together that's one of the benefits of the vacuum so I'm gonna try to get even amounts of marshmallows in e either side maybe I'm uh, need more on this side <laughs> that's pretty good and then we're just gonna go ahead and put the lid on this side make sure that's fully seated we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on this side as well alright both lids are on all tight. All right, now that we've got the marshmallows in there, we're going to go ahead and hit the start button here. Get it going. And we're going to go ahead and turn this pump on and turn this pump on. And I want you guys to watch as the vacuum is sucked out of the carafes and the marshmallows expand. We're going to see which one shuts off first. And then I will basically call out the time for you guys to show you guys which pump is fastest. You will also be able to see how big the marshmallows got at the end when it's done pumping to see which pump was stronger. We're going to go ahead and speed this part of the video up for you guys to save you some time. Look at that! Already! This achieved the 17 on the lid and it's at literally 42 seconds. Uh, it is maintaining the 17. Meanwhile, the BioChef is still pumping, so let's see how long this takes before it cuts off. Alright, finally cut off and we're at, oh my gosh, two minutes, so this was done significantly faster. And the other thing is once you pull this guy off, you know, the vacuum may end up leaking out. We're just going to go ahead and try to... Shake this up a little bit to show you guys the size of the marshmallows that actually filled the whole carafe. And we're going to go ahead and shake this up a little bit to see if we can uh, show you guys the size of the marshmallows. 
inside this carafe. Both of them pretty much filled with marshmallows now as they're fully expanded. And if I look at that closely, mm, that's tough. I would say the BioChef marshmallows look a tiny bit bigger, but once again, I did only go up to 17 on the Void Systems lid. Let's see if I could go ahead and uh, stop it, and we're gonna go ahead and see if I could get it to go any higher. All right, so now we're pumping it up to see if it can, the marshmallows can get any bigger and we can go with a deeper pressure. All right, we're up to 18. So we're getting to 18. Let's see if we can even hit 19 with the void system lid. Once again, you know, to achieve the higher pressures, you, it will need to run significantly longer, and at some point it just won't increment in the numbers and get to a deeper pressure due to where you live and your specific altitude. All right, so it looks like the void system lid for me, where I live, will not exceed 18. It's just sitting on 18 and pumping away and it's not getting to 19. So what I'll say is this, at 18 it looks like the marshmallows are pretty much the same size in both of these systems. So, and you know, once again, this lid took uh, 40 seconds to get to 17, maybe another 10 seconds or 15 to get to 18. So maybe you're up by a minute, but meanwhile, the BioChef kit took two minutes twice the time to get to the same vacuum pressure, showing me that this is a superior pump that works a lot more quickly. And of course, you don't have all the wires that you need to plug in or parts to lose or components to go bad. All right, now the coolest thing about the marshmallow test is watch when I pull the plug and I let the vacuum or the air back in. <laughs> They suck back down to normal size. Once again, we're going to go ahead and do that on the Void Systems kit. Look at that, shrinking down back to the normal size. Now, when you guys are blending traditionally, right, things are the normal size, but when you blend under vacuum, all the cell walls and fibers, or the, the, you know, the fibers of the produce or whatever you're blending, expand. So now they can get better blend up into a better particle size, releasing more nutrients for you guys under vacuum we are not getting the oxidative damage under as traditional blending all right for the next test i want to show with you guys actually uh once again vacuum blending with the void system carafe that comes with the vitamix kit and their lid against the vitamix with the bio chef solution on it so this will tell you if you should maybe buy the void system solution that sucks out the vacuum in half the time or the bio chef solution that actually is less expensive. So we're gonna simulate a smoothie test because I wanna see how finely the blades grind up everything. So we got 12 ounces of water that we're pouring in each of the blenders. The next thing is we're gonna go ahead and put in some just raw macadamia nuts. These are like adding, you know, the nuts are really hard. On some blenders they'll just spin around and knock it, fractionated and chopped up. And on blenders that are not as good, it'll leave larger chunks. In addition, we got two car colored leaves for my garden. They're nice and firm. So we're just gonna go ahead and break these into pieces to uh, three and then four. And then same on this side, we're gonna go ahead and break these into pieces. Uh, one, two, three, and four, just as the initial crush. <laughs> and then we're just gonna go ahead and put that lid on, turn it on, and we're gonna go ahead and get a vacuum on it. And once again, on the BioChef side, we're gonna go ahead and put the pump on, and we're gonna go ahead and suck a vacuum on it as well. All right, the BioChef finally shut off, so we're just gonna go ahead and remove it because it shuts off and it will not turn back on, whereas the Void Systems lid is continually pumping to keep it at 18, which is what it is set to today. Next step is we're just gonna go ahead and turn both these blenders on the high speed function and get this blended up. All right, we blended them for the same amount of time. We're just gonna go ahead and shut these off. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and pour them through a sieve so that we can see the particles or the particle size to see which one blended to a finer particle size because that's mostly dependent on the blade as well as the craft design to see if things are gonna funnel into the blades and actually get chopped up. So once again, let's show you guys the Freshness here. Pull out the vacuum on the BioChef. Once again, this guy is on sale, $20 off its normal price. And uh, lift this up. We're going to go ahead and pour this through the sieve.
All right, and over on the Boyd Systems craft, let the vacuum up, let all that air in. And we're just gonna go ahead and pull off this lid. Definitely gotta say the Boyd Systems lid, a little bit more challenging to get off than the BioChef lid, so this, this may bother you. If this bothers you, then you may wanna get the uh, BioChef lid. Always lift up on the little red tab, makes it a little bit easier to pull up. I'm really curious to see how this blended up and which left more particles in there. We did run it for maybe 50 seconds or so. So let's check it out. Got a nice uh, cream sauce there with some nuts and the greens. And just, we're just gonna go ahead and shake this out to see everything that does not go through the sieve. Now, of course, if you guys ran this longer, you could maybe get some of the particles to a smaller particle size but I cut it off because I wanted to show you guys at the equivalent time what would occur. All right, so we got them both shaken out and there you guys have it. You guys can see um, the difference. And to me, just looking at them, it looks like the void systems kind of blended to a little bit smaller particle size and less left less particulate. But the only way to know for sure is we will be popping out the scale. Let's go ahead and zero out this scale here. First, let's go ahead and test the BioChef pulp. We're down at 24 grams of residual pulp left in the BioChef that was not able to get ground down to a smaller particle size. Next, we're gonna go ahead and check out the Void Systems Carafe that you could use on their particular uh, Void Systems blender, or once again, you could use this on your Vitamix. With the Vitamix kit, 14 grams of pulp. So what does that tell me? That tells me that this unit was more effective at grinding things up to a smaller, smaller particle size that would actually fit through the sieve. 10 grams less. So yes, faster vacuum and better grinding with this solution by Void Systems. All right, so what are you guys thinking so far about the Void Systems vacuum lid? Once again, the kit that fits the Vitamix, their whole complete blender solution, or now I'm gonna show with you guys how it can work with your existing Blendtec blender with your Blendtec uh, wild side carafe right here, right now. And uh, oh, the other thing I want to tell you guys is when you turn this unit on, and if you do try to suck a vacuum and there's a leak, right, whether it's like not on the carafe or whether there's a leaking in the carafe for some reason, it'll actually tell you that, hey, there's a leak, it's not working, check the seals, check everything, and it'll shut itself off automatically. On other vacuum devices, you know, there are dumb devices, they're not going to tell you if it's detected a leak so that you could stop and check it to ensure that you guys get the highest quality vacuum blends while pulling the maximum amount of vacuum on your food. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna be using the Blend Tech today. And what I'll be sharing with you guys in this last part of the demo is how you guys can vacuum juice. This is not rocket science and I've shared videos on vacuum juicing before. And simply vacuum juicing is when you're gonna basically use the blender as a juicer because you will be removing some of the fiber. You're gonna keep all the soluble fiber, but remove some of the insoluble fiber. And you know, I my name is John Kohler, and I'm from Discount Juicers, and I'm the number one independent seller of juicers online, number one world's juicer expert. And I'll be the first to tell you guys, you know, as much as I promote and sell many juicers, right? The thing I'll tell you guys, if you guys want the maximum nutrition and maximum yield, right? You guys don't want to buy a juicer. You guys want to get a vacuum blender. Vacuum blending is the best way to make juice as revealed to me by Tom Dixon. Yeah, that guy who's famous who made all the Will It Blend videos on YouTube with over millions of views. And he's an amazing guy. He enlightened me about the vacuum juicing when I visited him up at Blendtec in Utah and he introduced me to these very nut milk juice bags and these are the only ones I recommend. If you guys use any other kind of nut milk juice bag, it's not gonna work as well. You may bust the bag or even worse, it's gonna be very difficult to clean. You gotta get these bags if you guys wanna do the vacuum juicing. Yeah, so you guys are gonna have to get the Void Systems Lid or the Vitamix Kit, if you guys have a Vitamix or there's a whole blender, and these bags.
bags. These are actually known as Alexa's bags. They come in a two-pack that look pretty much just like this. They're BPA safe certified juicing bags that are the only bags that I approve of. Uh, these have some design features including no drawstring where you know things can get trapped in as well as rounded edges which makes cleaning easier as well as the appropriate and exactly right mesh size so that you don't let big pieces of pulp in your juice. Um, but yet you get the maximum amount. In addition, it is an oversized bag that will easily fit over a two-quart uh, anchor hawking uh, measuring glass or mixing bowl, whatever you want to call it. And in addition, the amazing thing about this is that it's super easy to clean. The pulp doesn't really get ground in there like it can on other nut milk bags. I seriously take this out to the back with the garden hose and spray it down both sides. I turn it inside out, spray it down and you're all clean. Highly recommend Alexa's bags, whether you guys get a vacuum blender or not. And of course, these could make some amazing nut milks. And if you guys want to get the Alexa's bags, you can check them out at alexasbags.com. And the amazing thing about these bags is that they're ultra, ultrasonically welded in the USA, no strings, designed by Alpha 71 engineers, and you get the highest yields. Uh, and they have actually a one-year replacement guarantee, which is super impressive to me. All right, so now I want to show you guys how you guys can vacuum juice using the Blendtec with a Void Systems lid. So today I'll be making juice with some tangerines, California grown, and some cranberries. I want to encourage you guys to drink some cranberry juice. It's good for your urinary tract, and especially if you're a lady, and it is a wealth of different polyphenols and phytonutrients. And like I said before, right, they have studied blueberries. And with blueberries, you get up to three times more certain polyphenols when vacuum blending because the oxidative damage that you, under traditional blending, will destroy those nutrients. And I'm sure the same thing would be for the cranberries because they are so nutrient dense. If you're just blending cranberries in a traditional blender, you're oxidizing the heck out of them, causing more foam, causing more bu bubbles, causing more bloating belching and gas for you guys. So all we need to do is just go ahead and dump these oranges in there, not, or tangerines. I do want to let you guys know that not every juice recipe you want to make can you vacuum juice. You want to check my other videos for instructions on that. You always want to have some really watery produce, like straight carrots, not going to work. But if you put in half apples and then half carrots, it's going to work fine. And look at that, we're just loading this crap up with all the amazing mandarins and cranberries so we got the lid on and let's go ahead and turn it on and get this pumped down to 18. all right we got it all pumped down and now we're going to go ahead and pulse it a couple times once we got the mixture going we're just going to go ahead and put on the speed control to max we turn it off at 30 seconds and here's the amazing thing about the void systems right it is maintaining the pressure at the 17 that I set it for originally and that's the amazing thing as it's blending it's maintaining the 17 right this means that there'll be less dissolved oxygen in your blends than with any other vacuum blender that doesn't keep it vacuuming during the vacuum process press press the off button and it stopped and we're going to go ahead and once again let the air back in. Look at that deep color on there guys. Right, let the air back in. Vacuum blended. Let's go ahead and pull this lid off. Got the world's best spatula here for doing this kind of work. It's actually the Blendtec spatula. I love it so much. And we're just going to go ahead and put the lid over and look at this. Because there's no nooks and crannies or very few, we could just go ahead and scrape off all the mixture so that we don't miss out of any of this valuable juice. I don't know if you guys have checked lately, but organic cranberries ain't cheap, <laughs> especially with all the rising prices here. All right, so we got everything off the lid there, nice and clean. Now we're going to go ahead and pour our mixture from the Blendtec carafe into Alexa's bag, just like so. And once again, we're going to go ahead and use this really cool spatula, spatula down the side so that we don't miss any of those valuable phytonutrients that most people would just rinse down the sink. All right, we got all that mixture. Look at that. That blender crap is pretty much clean. Now, I want to share with you guys actually why vacuum juicing is superior over using other juicers. 
Number one reason, you suck the oxygen out of the craft, so as you are basically blowing open cell walls, you're not getting the oxidative damage. Yes, even slow juicers running at 40 RPMs have the air being introduced, yes, at a low RPM, which is significantly better than a high-speed juicer, but not as good as a vacuum blender that basically does not mix extra oxygen in when blending because it's being done under vacuum. Second reason why vacuum juicing is superior to a traditional juicer is because traditional juicers do not grind up as well as a vacuum blender. They leave bigger particle sizes, which means there's more cell walls that didn't get broken open, so the nutrients didn't get extracted. Furthermore, because it was vacuum blended and more nutrients were extracted, there's more of those antioxidant compounds in your juice to feed you more antioxidants so you could have greater health benefit. In addition, there's more antioxidants in the juice should you want to store it for later because the antioxidants in the juice protect the juice from going bad. And I bet nobody ever told you that before, right? Especially the high-speed juicer companies, right? All right, so let's go ahead, do the next step. Super simple, super easy, guys. We're just going to go ahead and take this bag and just wring it out. Look at this, how easy, because the smaller particle size, we can just squeeze this bag and all that delicious juice comes right out. All right, so I got all that strained out. I wanna show you guys actually how dry this pulp is, right? This is more dry than a juicer would put out, unless you're maybe using like a pure juicer that's like $2,500. I find your hands are quite sufficient to squeeze out the pulp of most juices, including leaves, stalks, and fruits when you're uh, ju vacuum juicing roots uh, it is a little bit harder to press out because there is a significantly more fiber uh, you know when juicing root vegetables but look at that that's just a completely dry fiber there we could take that and squeeze it we just get mush we'd have zero juice left in the pulp another reason why vacuum juicing is superior yes to even slow juicing all right, so now I get to taste the amazing juice I just made. Vacuum juice, look at that. Nice juice coming right out. Made the best way possible. Mm-mm. I'm definitely getting that cranberry hit. Zing. But I also get the tangerines. The other thing, when you're juicing the tangerines like this, you get some of the pectin that is actually in the skin of the tangerines. So this does make it a little bit more thick juice than a juicer that might make it thinner. To me, this means there's more nutrition in the juice. Definitely also has a better mouthfeel. A little bit more, I would say, rich or thick than a thin, watered-down juice. I attribute that specifically to the pore size of the bag, the Lexus bag, to you know that achieves the ideal amount of soluble fiber in the juice. Mm -mm. You got to make that recipe yourself, but make sure you do it in a vacuum blender. All right, so that brings me to the end of the episode today where you got to learn the full benefits of vacuum blending using the Void System Vacuum Lid Solution that will work with the Blendtec, just the lid alone. Once again, you could buy that upgrade kit, including the craft, the pad, a tamper, um, whatnot that fits your Vitamix includes the um, Blend Fresh Veggies. That's really cool. Or if you don't have a Blendtec or a Vitamix, right, you guys can get the Void System Blender with the lid and their carafe as well. So you could vacuum blend that way in an all-in-one vacuum blending solution, right? And, you know, my name is John Kohler with Discount Juicers. I always want to get you guys a discount price. I thank you guys for staying to the end so you guys could really learn the benefits of vacuum blending as well as vacuum juicing and save the extra exclusive $25 off discount you will not find anywhere else on the Void Systems. DJ25 at void-systems.com. Once again, link down below in the description to my bit.ly link to take you right to the page so that you guys can order your Void System vacuum blending system. And once again, the Void Vacuum Blender kit also comes with the Blend Fresh. I think those guys usually sold originally for, I don't know, 30 or 40 bucks. So that's an amazing deal you guys are gonna get that's gonna enrich your body full of phytonutrients. And that's what you guys are gonna get when you vacuum blend. You're gonna up your nutrition game, right? You don't even gotta change 
your ingredients or your recipes and just by getting a vacuum blender you'll be eating more healthy you'll be feeding your microbiome better because you're gonna have more polyphenols that the microbiome loves to munch on you're gonna have better flavor you're gonna have less belching gas and bloating you will also get better colors better color retention better texture vacuum blending is for the win guys so whether you guys want to gift yourself or gift a friend or family member one of these for this holiday season, you should go ahead and check out void-systems.com, discount code DJ25. Now the last thing I want to do for you guys is I want to go ahead and pour out these mixtures that I blended. So as you guys can see, they both did separate. You know, if you guys looked over time, the vacuum blending one separated significantly slower than the traditionally blended one. And you can see the top of the traditionally blended one, you know, there's still all the air bubbles on there. We have a lots of air bubbles, pretty much confined to the top section. The whole bottom section looks like liquid. And I'm gonna pour this out to show you guys the difference in consistency. And of course, if you guys were to drink it, you would easily taste this. But look at this. This is all really thick until it's fully separated. And now we're basically pouring like water. On the vacuum blended mixture, you guys can see it's pretty consistent. It's not thick at the top and then thin on the bottom. It does get a little bit thinner on the bottom, but you know, it's basically, uh, you know, retain more of the amazing texture and of course, less oxidation over time. Final plug I want to give you guys and remind you guys about are the Alexa's bags. They're my favorite juice and nut milk bags ever. You can find them at alexasbags.com. Now when you do buy the Alexis bags at alexasbags.com or use that coupon code at Void Blenders, uh, both those companies will share a small commission with me so that I can continue to make my educational videos for you guys. Plus, of course, when you guys use that DJ25 code, you guys are going to save the most money on the Void Systems products. So I want to thank you guys who use my code or make your purchase at Alexis Bags so that I can continue to make these detailed long videos where I go in deep to show you guys the benefits of vacuum blending. Because nobody else on the internet goes to the depth that I do to teach you guys about the best methods to process and eat your fruits and vegetables, which are simply vacuum blending, number one, yes, even over juicing because you're doing vacuum juicing as well. And then number two, slow juicers. I want you guys to have both of these appliances in your kitchen so that you guys could achieve and get the most benefits out of the fruits and vegetables. Especially as prices go up, vacuum juicing makes more sense because you get higher yields and more nutrition and of course, better flavors as well. And this is coming from a guy that's been selling juicers for over 20 years. Yes, I'm telling you, vacuum juicing is superior. So thanks, Tom. So that brings me to the end of this episode. I hope you guys surely enjoyed this episode. More importantly, please give this video a big thumbs up. That helps out the YouTube algorithm. Get this video out to more people. Also, leave a comment down below about what you thought about the Void Systems vacuum blenders. I try to check the comments as the video is initially posted and respond to as many of them as I can, but there's only one of me and a lot of you guys, so I can't always respond and usually don't respond to many comments, but you could always use the contact link in the link in the description to message me directly where I will answer your questions. Also be sure to share this video with others that are not familiar with vacuum blending and the big difference it can make in taste, nutrition, you know, bloating and belching and gas, color retention, nutrient retention, storage, storability, texture, it is all good and it is the future of blending and it's sad to me that nobody else really promotes it. And the reason why I promote it is because I want you guys to know the best technologies to process your fruits and vegetables to get the maximum nutrition. I mean, that's why I got into eating fruits and vegetables because I almost lost my life. And I know that eating more fruits and vegetables and eking out even more nutrition will give you that extra competitive advantage you need to lose that extra weight, you know, heal from whatever is maybe ailing you or just stay in superior health compared to all the other Americans that are not really worried about these plant phytonutrients. So yes, please be sure to share this video with other people you think it could help, especially people that don't already have a vacuum blender. Also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below to make sure you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes I'll be coming out about every five to seven days and make sure you click the notification bell so you get notified as my new videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge over 600 episodes at this time 
dedicated to teaching you all about juicing, vacuum blending, and the best appliances to do so where I compare them head to head like I did today. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.